Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes sometimes they spread. Yeah. Sometimes they spread. spread so you don't question. Get. Yes. You don't get it for your money. What is the difference between using a wolf or a goat hairbrush? In terms of if you wanted to make a choice, why would one choose one over the other? I have both. Oh, wow. And I use both equally poorly, but I'd like to know what the difference is. Okay. Try this one with the one you have. The difference you will be tell right away. Oh, it's real soft. That one is it. Gold hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can barely can I even. see it? Okay. Yes, I'm going to put it right here. Excuse me. Thank you. You're welcome. Take this is goat? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this is nice. Yes. However, it will not come back to the original shape as you have hoped. So, Nice rough brush. Get nice rough brush. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing now? Can't make the nose. How do you enjoy this? What's the best way to clean these? Dog wood? Brush? Watercolor. Watercolor stained on it. The blue on that goat is is a stain that I number one did not clean it too diligently, or I'm designating that for the sky. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I I draw this one one stroke after the other without having to reload, without having to because it sprung back to the original ready shape for each stroke, then it's ready for my command. <laughs> that goat brush won't do that. It, it's flat and it's curled. It's laid back. Push, push, push. <laughs> so that's that's a, um, a wolf. This is a wolf. What you have, we have wolf. And what you get, wolf from a supply store in China or in Chinatown here, is no wolf. It's not the same quality wolf as as you have here. So, I don't know what to say. Okay. I have, I have. I just, I had received the same thing as a kid. I have wolves there now, what, a year or something? I just didn't know what the difference was. I was Russian wolves. But, so, I have a place that has been selling making brushes for centuries. Mm -hmm. That's where I go. And they said, you are an old-fashioned buyer. <laughs> I am. But it also depends on how much work you have in it. Nearly every branch has has some kind of new growth on it.
hat is a good strategy, including loading the brush. What comes out on the paper first is usually what's added onto the brush or loaded onto the brush last. So, natural subjects are favorite of mine and many artists. Yes, mm -hmm. it's just wonderful. It's like a meditation. The, the gold hair, this one is, absorbs more. That's a goat hair? Yeah. Okay. Has a more absorption of liquid than a wolf hair. So different different brushes has different use. So I carry so many around. And the more you paint, the more you became. You know a brush better the more you designate it to certain certain use which you will not violate much more later. That means a brush becomes more specialized. I want this petal in done with this stroke. I don't want to get it anymore. So when I put down, I give a lot of thought. What where to go down first? Where to your jacket. <laughs> where to end? How I want to end it.
So you never go back and retouch yeah, anything. It's always the same. The, the first brush stroke and it stays. I try. <laughs> I try. I, I couldn't say I did not. Never. But I try. I sure could.